one new at 430. It's been a, a debate here for decades, but it hasn't been this intense until right now. Grocery stores pushing hard to be able to sell wine. Now, package store owners do not want this to happen. Let's check in with Channel 3's Dylan Fearon. He just spoke to both sides about this debate and is joining us live in Manchester. Dylan, I imagine some mixed feelings here about this. You're right, Aaron. This is a very interesting debate. Of course, the grocery stores want to be allowed to sell wine. They want a one-stop shop for their customers. You're getting your groceries for the week. You want to pick up a bottle of wine. The grocery stores feel that should be allowed and that should be fair. The package stores, on, their, on the other hand, they're upset. They're fearful that some of their smaller stores could potentially go out of business if grocery stores were allowed to sell wine. This has been a debate that's gone on for since about the late 80s. And about 10 years ago, it ramped up. And again here in 2023, it's ramping up uh, ramping up very high here in 2023 and we know that the Connecticut Food Association says the vast majority of consumers want wine in grocery stores and it wouldn't impact the package stores as much as they think plus 42 states across the country the grocery stores are allowed to sell wine but not in Connecticut I don't know that there's been a concentrated effort like we're about to see in 2023. We still love our wine stores, we love our package stores, and we want them to be successful, but we also believe that giving people an option and a choice. Everyone wants to take from us, but we sell four items, um, and that's all we want to sell. And the debate set to ramp up even higher later in 2023. Wayne and Molly expect the bill to be drafted up in the General Assembly, and then the public hearings begin with the General Law Committee in Hartford. We're live in Manchester tonight. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.